black and white photo of camp at Manzanar with barracks in the background and American flag blowing. Barbed wire fence scrolls from left to right and then words 10 camps, 10 stories beyond the barbed wire. Picture of letter from Eleanor Roosevelt with picture insert of Mary Sukamoto and daughter Mary L in words Mary Sukamoto, Jerome Relocation Center, Arkansas. Black background with white words, Jerome War Relocation Center in Arkansas was one of 10 camps established after EO 9066. It operated from October 6, 1942 to June 30, 1944 with over 8,500 incarcerates. Black and white photo of Mary Sukamoto with her daughter Mary L with words written in blue pen to grandmother. 1944. Mary Sukamoto was born on January 17, 1915. Black and white photo of Mary Sukamoto as a baby in a baby carriage wrapped in white clothing in San Francisco, California. Black and white photo of the Sukamoto family standing around a table with Abraham Lincoln portrait in the background in blue pen 1916 in the corner. At 10 years old, she and her family moved to Florin, California. Black and white photo showing Mary Sukamoto with her siblings picking strawberries, where they worked on a farm. She attended Florin Grammar School, which was segregated at the time. Black and white photo showing four rows of students from the Florin Grammar School. In high school, her teacher, Mabel Barron, helped gain admission and a scholarship to the College of the Pacific in Stockton, California in 1933. Black and white photo showing Mary Sukamoto seated with a silver trophy cup next to her. She left before graduating and married Al Sukamoto. Black and white photo of Al and Mary Sukamoto standing in front of a building, holding hands. Mary taught Sunday school in the local Methodist church Black and white photo of a large group of Sunday school students standing and sitting in front of the Florin Church. And joined the Florin chapter of the Japanese American Citizens League, becoming its executive secretary. Logo of the Florin Japanese American Citizens League. In 1940, black and white photo of students standing in front of the Florin Elementary School. The Sukumotos were able to get the Florin School Board to do away with segregated schools. Black and white video showing cars driving by a church and then inside a Japanese American woman handing out forms to people. In spring 1942, as a Japanese American Citizens League officer, she and her husband worked with the Army's wartime Black and white photo showing three Japanese American citizens walking out a door labeled Civil Control Station with 1117 mounted above the door. Civilian Control Administration. Photo of an older Japanese American man sitting at a table with a cane looking at forms. The Federal Reserve Bank and Farm Security Administration. Black and white video of a man from the Farm Security Administration helping farmers to help Issei and Nisei in the Sacramento area register for removal and dispose of their belongings. They performed their duties from the confines of the Fresno Detention Center. Aerial image of Fresno Detention Center along with pamphlet on the right that says Fresno Assembly Center Directory 1942. This was a makeshift internment camp Black and white photo showing barracks at Fresno with electric pole and wires in the foreground. To house incarcerates while the war relocation camps at Jerome. Color video of a man in uniform leaning on a stop sign at the entrance of Jerome Camp. And Gila River were being constructed. At the detention center. Black and white photo showing Japanese Americans wearing graduation gowns at the Fresno detention center Photo is labeled at the bottom, graduation from 24 high schools in Fresno Assembly Center, June 19, 1942. Mary Sukamoto worked teaching a summer school as a speech teacher and taught English class for Issei. 
thank you note to Mrs. Sukamoto with appreciation from the Issei Adult English Class students, June and July 1942, Fresno Assembly Center. In October 1942, black and white photo of a sign for Jerome Relocation Center built for War Relocation Authority by Corps of Engineers, U.S. Army. The Sukamotos were transferred to the Jerome War Relocation Camp in Arkansas. Black and white photo of the Sukamoto family sitting on the stairs to their barracks at Jerome. Mary became part of an incarcerate organized effort to provide schooling for the children. Color video of Japanese American children at school at the camp. Mary taught speech courses for the high school students. Black and white photo showing a school inside one of the barracks with a teacher and students sitting around the table. In English for the Issei. She worked with outside religious groups at Christmas 1942. Color video showing cooks inside the camp serving food from a large metal bowl to smaller white bowls and then children eating. To supply chicken dinners for the incarcerates and presents for the children. She received a letter from Eleanor Roosevelt. Letter from Eleanor Roosevelt to Mrs. Sukamoto dated November 24, 1943 from the White House asking about her plans for the future in response to a letter of holiday greetings she sent to the White House. Christmas card to President Franklin D. Roosevelt and Mrs. Eleanor Roosevelt from Mr. and Mrs. Al Sukamoto in Marielle. After leaving camp, Sukamoto enrolled at Sacramento State and began employment as a substitute teacher. Black and white photo of Al and Mary Sukamoto captioned at the bottom home again, shopping in Sacramento, 1945. In 1949, two photos of Mary Sukamoto teaching young children. And she became one of the first certified Japanese American teachers by joining Florin Elementary School in the Elk Grove School District as a third grade teacher. Modern photo showing the Mary Sukamoto Elementary School, part of the Elk Grove School District. She taught for 26 years. Black and white video of the United States Capitol building. In 1981, she testified in the congressional hearings by the United States Commission. Two black and white photos showing Japanese Americans sitting at a table at the Capitol for congressional hearings. On wartime internment and relocation of citizens. And in 1987, she published the book, We the People. A Story of Internment in America. Photo of Mary Sukamoto's book, We the People. To help ensure that all citizens of the United States can learn about the Japanese internment experience. Color video showing Japanese Americans leaving the closed camps. As well as the courage, resilience, and patriotism of the people interred. In 1983, Sukamoto started her Time of Remembrance program graphic that shows Japanese American children in the background with I'm American Too, a story from behind the fences. Which brought Elk Grove students together with former incarcerates. Black and white photo of Mary Sukumoto sitting, her husband Al Sukumoto standing, holding a removal poster for Japanese ancestry. The students listen to stories Picture of Japanese American students looking towards the camera with open books. It's from Japanese internment camp victims. Looked at photographs and artifacts. Historical footage showing classes inside the camp and graduation caps and gowns on Japanese Americans. And learned what it means to be an American citizen. She created this curriculum in an effort to shed light on the discrimination that the Japanese endured during World War II and to enrich their knowledge of American history. In later years, black and white photo of Mary Sukamoto holding a plaque with a man and a camera in the background. Mary recalled her arrival at camp. Color video of an older Mary Sukamoto wearing glasses and a blue dress with white dots. And I never will forget the train stopped and we got off and they put us on a big truck with sides, you know, with 
the it looked like one of those cattle cars. Anyway, we stood up because there were no chairs for us to sit on this pickup. And so we all stood up in it and packed tightly, you know, crowded into this truck. To They drove us to the Fresno Assembly Center. And then we got off there and they told us to get in and there was the, the barbed wire gate and the MPs around there. And uh, we had to go in through that gate and after we got in there, we knew that the gate was shut. And so we saw all these people behind the, the fence looking out, hanging on to the wire and looking out because they were anxious to know who was coming in. But I will never forget the, the shocking feeling that human beings were behind this fence like animals. And we were going to also lose our freedom and walk inside of that gate and find ourselves cooped up there, and the police, um, the MPs with their guns, and some of them had bayonets. I don't know what they were going to do with it, if they thought we were going to run away, I guess. But anyway, when the gates were shut, we knew that we had lost something that was very precious, that we were no longer free. Credit slide, black background with white words. National Park Service Arrowhead on black background. <laughs> 